Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Well, it appears to be official that Deontay Wilder will face Tyson Fury in a highly anticipated rematch in February 22nd, 2020. Uh, location yet to be determined. More than likely, this fight is headed for either Los Angeles or Las Vegas once again. So I don't see this fight being in New York. More than likely, this fight will be in Las Vegas. But uh, nevertheless, um, Deontay Wilder first has to take care of Mendes versus Luis Ortiz. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. Dan Tyson Fury more than likely will be facing Big Baby Miller October the 5th, according to reports. Now, I reported yesterday that Bob Arum said that he don't know if Big Baby Miller is in the running because he's saying he can't get a license to fight in New York. Well, like I told you before, Bob Arum has a lot of clout. I'm pretty sure if Bob Arum really wants this fight for Tyson Fury, he will find a way he will make all the necessary phone calls he needs to make to get Big Baby Miller his license back. And if not, they'll just move this fight to another location, maybe Las Vegas or Los Angeles. So it appears that Tyson Fury will be facing Big Baby Miller October 5th. If he is successful, then basically we have a few months to the showdown between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury to rematch. Uh, the rematch is going to be big. I predict the rematch is going to do anywhere from 700000 to a million pay-per-view buys. Because one, you're going to have the controversy surrounding the fight where some people thought that Tyson Fury won the fight. Some people thought Deontay, won the, Deontay Wilder won the fight. Some people thought the draw was the right decision. Me, myself, I had Deontay Wilder winning the fight. That's my decision. Too fucking bad if you don't like it. Now, with that being said, uh, boxing is where it's need, need to be. Then you have Andy Ruiz taking on Anthony Joshua, which appears to be November. Uh, it's funny, Anthony Joshua is okay with fighting at the States again. So, one thing is for sure is going to come down to location where they're going to have this fight. I keep telling you the best place for a fight like this, to me, they should have this fight in the Los Angeles area. Andy Ruiz is the champ now. If he wants to fight like in the Staples Center or somewhere like that, then, you know, that's where they should have the fight in. You know, real talk. But anyway, man, the heavyweight division is looking real good right about now. And plus, let's just say Andy Ruiz gets past um, gets past Anthony Joshua a second time. Then, basically what he can do around May, he can have a fight on Cinco de Mayo. He can fight Chris Ariola. If Chris Ariola is successful, then once again, you can have a battle uh, for Mexican bragging rights, which I think that'll be a solid fight. Him versus Chris Ariola, probably more than likely once again in the LA area because both of those dudes are from Southern California. So I think that'll be a fun, fan-friendly fight and it'll be all good. So this is Boy Town Biz. That's all I have to say for now. Anyway, I'm out.